Welcome to The Soft Life with me, Candy Washington, where we explore all things self-love, manifestations, and relationships with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. So be sure to subscribe, share, and join us on Patreon. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington, and I'm so grateful for this time together with you. If you haven't already, be sure to shop the new Love Collection over on CandyWashington.com. Everything is also linked in the show notes and in the description box. We have home decor items, style and fashion items, and just really fun things for everyone in our Love Collection. Also, be sure to join me over on Instagram at Candy Washington. Give me a follow, shoot me a DM, tag me in any of your aha moments, and I will be sure to retag you and show you some love. So whether you're watching us on YouTube or on a podcast platform, be sure to like, rate, review, subscribe, and share, 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 because your journey to self-love is always better with a friend. So now let's get into it. So today's episode is really more about a, I don't know, like a realization that I had. I kept seeing the word fearless, fearless females, fearless founders, fearless, 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 fearless. And to me, it kind of went into that bucket of toxic positivity where it's like you're almost shamed into wellness. You're shamed into you know, being spiritual or elevating or up-leveling or living your best life and da-da-da-da-da. You know, it's almost a sort of like, like you're not allowed to actually feel humans' emotions. You know, you're not allowed to be sad or depressed or angry or pissed off or, you know, any of those like real natural human emotions. You're almost shamed into having to put this front on, you know, this front that like toxic positivity almost right it's almost like the shaming thing and to me that is kind of what fearless was doing because fearless means lack of fear there's no fear so you feel almost inadequate or less than if you have fear around stuff like there is fear with starting a business there is fear with putting yourself out there there is fear with asking for a promotion at work there is fear with wanting to you know start taking care of your body and 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 getting into shape or getting healthy there is fear in putting yourself out there to find you know a partner or love like you know there there is fear in that there is unknown in that there's uncertainty in that of course you're there's fear but when we hear again and again and again oh fearless entrepreneur fearless ceo fearless whatever it is you kind of feel bad or that you're not enough or or you're inadequate if you have fear and that to me simply is not the case it means that you're human and it means that you're actually in tune with your own emotions i think that it would be bizarre and a little bit unhealthy if you did not have fear when you're trying to up level in life if you did not have fear when you're trying to make a change in your life if you did not have fear when you're trying to step out on faith when you if you did not have fear when you are trying to you know just do anything in life take go go to a next level or a new dimension in your life you know whether it is starting a business whether it is finding love whether it is your health journey you know whatever it is I think calling people fearless it doesn't make any sense to me. And where is the glory in being fearless? If it's if you don't have any fear, then how is that anything? You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make any sense to me. So the word that I use instead of fearless is courageous. And I think that is a better framework. I think that is a better meaning. I think that's a better word because to me, being courageous is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Having the courage to overcome the fear. To me, that is what is inspiring me, is inspiring. To me, that is what is human. To me, that is what is aspirational. That's what I wanna be. I don't wanna be fearless. I wanna be courageous. 
There are courageous people in life. It takes courage to ask for that promotion. It takes courage to start your health journey. It takes courage to start your own business. It takes courage to leave an unhealthy relationship. It takes courage to put yourself first. It takes courage to put yourself out there. There is fear, but you do it anyway because you have the faith, because you have the knowingness, because you have the belief. Doesn't mean the fear isn't there. And that's what I want to identify with. I want to identify with courageous people, people who were unsure, people who were fearful, people who were uncertain, but they did it anyway. Those are the people that I want to learn from. Those are the people I inspire to be. That is the person that I am. I have fear. I have uncertainty. I have unknowing. But I choose to do it anyway because I also have faith and belief and hope. So that's why I don't like the word fearless. I think it kind of shames people for being human who do have fear. That somehow you have to be superhuman in order to have your dreams and goals come to fruition. Sometimes like, like you have to have no fear. And that's why I think a lot of people get stuck. They get stuck in thinking, well, once everything is perfect, once uh, there is no fear, once there is no risk, then I'll do it. But that's not true. You have to do it when it's not perfect. You have to do it when you are fearful. You have to do it when there is a risk. That's why they say no risk, no reward. If it was easy, everyone would do it. If there was no fear, everyone would do it. So I don't think that these people are necessarily fearless. I think they're courageous. I think that there is fear there, but they choose to move on anyway. And the more courageous you get, yes, there's less fear. But you're able to mitigate that fear differently. It's not that the fear isn't there. It's that the fear now has a different meaning. And you're able to mitigate that fear in a different way. But if you don't have any fear when you're stepping out and doing something new, that is a little wacky to me. So I don't want anybody to be fearless. But I want you to be courageous. To own and honor the fear that you have. To recognize it. Recognize your humanity. But do what you know that you are called to do anyway. That to me is inspiring. That to me is how I want to be. I want to own my humanity. I want to own my fear. And I want to do it anyway. Because I have the courage to persevere through my fear to get to the other side. So that's why I stopped using the word fearless. I think it's kind of toxic positivity. I'm not down for it. So I invite you to do one courageous thing today, whether it's sending an email, like pitching yourself for something, whether it's telling someone how you really feel, whether it's going for a run if you haven't, you know, worked out in a long time, you know, whether it's taking a nap to take a break if you are just going on 100 every day, just do one courageous thing that you have been putting off today be courageous. So that's it. That was my little sugar pill for you today. That is why I stopped using the word fearless and I instead use the word courageous. So there you have it. And if this struck a chord with you, please let me know over on Instagram at Candy Washington. Don't forget to shop our love collection um, over on candywashington.com or just click it down in the show notes or the description box and share this with a friend. Subscribe, rate, and review. And until next time, everybody, be well. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Ready to unlock your true potential and manifest the life of your dreams? then I've got something super special just for you. Our mind-blowing self-love and manifestation courses. Picture this, a journey of self-discovery where you'll find a deep well of self-love and acceptance. Say goodbye to self-doubt and hello to unshakable confidence. Our courses are designed to help you embrace your worthiness 
and tap into the incredible power of self-love. But that's not all. We'll also dive deep into the transformative world of manifestations. You'll learn proven tools and techniques and strategies to align your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your wildest dreams. So get ready to create the success, happiness, love, and abundance that you deserve. So what are you waiting for? Head over to candywashington.com backslash courses to get started. Again, that's candywashington.com backslash courses.